8. Uh, the Honourable Shane Jones. We on this side of the House will be supporting this bill. I note, sir, that we're at the committee stages and I want to just work through a number of important issues. And um, as is often the case, sir, when we support a piece of legislation pertaining to a particularly uh, important industry capable of generating more employment, a rather rare phenomenon given the stewardship of the government and its broader economic uh, obligations, but that aside, there are two areas, sir, that uh, despite our reservations, we're going to back um, this bill. And I have to acknowledge that the Minister and the Chair, sir, has made a, uh, a considerable effort to address the broad array of interests because on one side, sir, you have residual Māori concerns and on the other side, sir, you have concerns pertaining to not only the industry with their investments, sir, in both aquaculture and quota ownership, but in particular, sir, those who fear that by arrogating to central government in the form of the Minister the ability to influence and allocate consents related to the occupation of space, that you've got all these kinds of um, apprehensions, sir. But we do feel, despite the fact that uh, the Minister will have the ability to affect these uh, resource management coastal plan changes, the deeper, the deeper challenge is something that is really an NZ Inc. story. I mean there, sir that um, it's, a, it's a bold challenge, a billion dollars a year worth of e export receipts. Unfortunately, sir, the Minister may not recall, but uh, Honourable Doug Kidd, I think it was in 1992-93, had a similar uh, heroic uh, goal in mind to generate a, um, a billion dollars worth of export receipts way back there. Now, sir, not everything that uh, we did in our, um, in, in, <clears throat> in our golden reign of the last nine years kicked a goal. Uh, this is an area where there were changes that were made, and I think the uh, rule of unforeseen consequences, sir, uh, reminds us that um, what we do in Parliament and what we delegate down to our bu bureaucrats to do doesn't necessarily make sense in relation to people investing, taking a risk and growing an industry. So I would say, sir, that um, we always need to be vigilant if we're going to crimp the ability of people to enjoy participatory democracy, because that's the model that we have, sir, for resource management in New Zealand. I have sought to marry an ideal of social democracy against resource management that uh, we don't swing too far because nothing will ever happen because all sorts of parties believe that they have an almost divine right to participate and end up hobbling those who, uh, uh, with, uh, with the greatest will in the world, burn too much money before they can get a consent. And secondly, sir, which I'll talk and my colleague will talk about as well, is the test to do with, um, uh, the, t the test to do with how you strike a balance, sir, between the people who have legal rights to harvest fish within defined areas and those who want to occupy those areas for marine farming. And so I think this Minister has got the balance about right. Well, to the extent that we're prepared to back it, sir. Now, <clears throat> it's, it's important, sir, that an industry like this maintain the reputation that when we sell, sir, which is why the allocation of resource consent, sir, is essential. When we sell, sir, our product overseas, we're not just selling the commodity, we're not selling the organism, sir, we're selling a brand and we're selling an experience. And at all times, irrespective of who is in enjoying the privilege of holding the benches of Treasury, sir, when we compromise that, we worsen our ability to make inroads into the market because there's no shortage of competitors around the world, sir, more than capable of uh, disgracing our New Zealand name by taking our product and passing, passing it off as something which in actual fact does not reflect what we're capable of uh, generating and selling. So it's important that the host environment that creates the produce is subject to a high level of vigilance. But sir, that vigilance must not turn into uh, an opportunity for uh, far too many um, nitpickers to participate in the process. So I've had, unfortunately, experience it. This, in the 90s, we sought to create a uh, marine fish farm off the coast of Whangarei. After we'd blown, sir, as I recall, six, seven hundred, still counting amounts of dollars, and still no further ahead, no closer, as a consequence of the bike riding, uh, spectacle wearing, book reading uh, QC lawyers from Auckland who had ended up with batches there, sir. 
and uh, they had uh, they, they had stopped and denied us, Mr. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. <coughs> so they had um, denied us who were taking the risk, sir, t- t- taking a risk, sir, and creating in this vacant space of the ocean a business. And what were we going to do, sir? We all we were going to do was generate jobs, try, odd as it might sound to the current government, generate wealth through the export and evaluated form of New Zealand's clean, green produce. Now, as a consequence of a number of these, um, these sort of a hapless individuals who have far more money than cents, uh, they visited, sir, uh, their connections and their networks upon us struggling Northlanders, largely of Māori extraction as we sought to create this uh, marine fish farm. So that's what I mean, sir. Too many parties enjoying as a consequence of uh, privileged status, I being QC lawyers or married to QC lawyers or seeing QC lawyers on the side, that's another matter. Now, sir, what uh, they were able to do was frustrate that development. And I fear, sir, I fear that if we're not vigilant, that some of the innovations that are being made here could also fall prey to similar excesses. But having said that, sir, we should um, back an industry because how are we going to create the jobs for our mokopuna, for our our children in New Zealand, unless, on, unless from time to time, with a focus on primary produce, we back them. Now, sir, there'll be elements in the industry who will be hoha, as we say in the Ngāpuhi language, exasperated. They don't get everything they need. But, sir, the fishing industry and the aquaculture industry cannot be driven exclusively for the benefit of the big end of town. This particular industry op- uh, r- r- represents an opportunity for tangata whenua, sir, and this is part of what's been fixed up in this bill, sir, started um, in our time and refined by the current uh, minister and his officials. And I'd say to the minister, though, sir, that uh, uh, one day, hopefully very soon, he will be gone from that chair. He will be gone from that chair. So it will be left to uh, bureaucrats and it will be left to the future. So I see a rising sun in the future, shining with powerful rays of, uh, of wealth on the industry. So, uh, it's a, sir, 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 there's a member from over there in Taranaki, sir. His head is starting to look like the snow-capped peak of Taranaki. snow cap peak of Taranaki. Unfortunately, sir, the last time I checked, Taranaki didn't have flecks of grey hair. Yeah, it was all white. Anyway, sir, I'll come back. I'll come back and remind us, sir, that there is, there, there is a brilliant opportunity for Māori to advance in this industry, but the signal needs to go out to our own Māori people, sir. Uh, fortunately, um, the hearing aid uh, that Mr Quinn uses is not working in the house. Or, uh, the house will actually travel a lot more smoothly as a consequence of that, sir. <clears throat> and uh, the house actually might sound a lot more lucid as a consequence. So whoever's given that hearing aid, please repeat it. We, need, we, we actually need multiple. And uh, we might need a special one, sir, for tohenare, but that, often, that probably should be put in the mouth, not the ear. However, sir, I come back to uh, reminding us that those Māori investors who do want to advance the treaty settlement interests, which are advanced in this bill, sir, they need to ensure that their decisions are not like an island unto themselves. There is no way in the world, sir, that will develop this industry. And neither should we rely, sir, on large dollops of overseas investment alone to develop this industry. There's a proposal off the coast of Oportiki, and um, this is a free, free-ranging debate, sir. I, I see the member on the other. I see, I see the member on the other side of the house, sir. She's sort of. Uh, I know she's parking in the South Island. She's trying to sort of practice one of those little huckers that was happening at Sir Paul's Mutti. Oh, she's bringing it close now, sir. I, 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 I presume, sir, that means that she's clapping that for once the, the, the member of Whangarei has been able to uh, convince his fellow Northlander to agree with something. But that's reflective, sir, of the feedback that we've taken from the industry. So, sir, we uh, commend this bill and uh, won't be uh, protracting the contributions as befits um, parliamentarians who know that they've really got to work hard to earn their living here, unlike members on the other side of the House. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Th- thank you, Mr Chairman. The short-